<laughs> I've done it. I've created the plan. <laughs> Do you see this? This is the plan. This is the plan. What is going on guys? Kosho here at the Lion's Den, located in Hatfield slash Colmar, PA off of Route 309. So if you're in the area, come check out the gym. But in this video, I am just gonna go over my plan, my secret diabolical plan to get a 300 pound strict press. It's something that I've wanted for a long time and I'm actually prepping for a strongman competition that is November 14th, PA Strongest Man, which has a Viking press in it, but I think with that going on, I can kind of easily work in me getting a 300 pound strict press, which would just be fantastic. So I want to cover some tips and tricks that I'm going to be using in my programming that I think if you want to increase your overhead press, uh, you guys can implement them ASAP and it's going to help you out. Before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to the dang channel. All right, so tip number one, if you've been following this channel for any amount of time and watched any of my other videos on how to increase whatever lift, you know I am a huge fan of increasing frequency. So if you are somebody who's only doing the lift one time per week, I'm gonna reach through the screen, just give you a little a little <laughs> right on the hiney, okay? Because it's time for you to increase that frequency. So when it comes to pressing for me, I'm gonna increase my pressing frequency to about three times per week. And since we're doing the shoulders here, the shoulders are gonna be a, typically a smaller muscle group. So we're gonna be able to train them more frequently because they recover faster compared to something like your legs or your back uh, or just something that's a larger muscle group. So uh, for me, kind of my basic thought process going into this is day one, I'm gonna do my strict press. That's where I wanna put most time and most focus to. So if you have a movement that you wanna put a lot uh, of effort and improve on, put that in the beginning of your training week, okay? So for me, that's gonna be strict press. Now, my second pressing variation is going to be uh, a push press. So for the competition, we have Viking press. So I'm gonna use the Viking press as my other variation, which is essentially a push press. But I really like using the push press because it allows me to overload the movement, pushing more weight because there is a little bit of leg drive. Uh, but I think over time, the push press really just helps increase the shoulder uh, muscle as much as possible and translates over to the overhead press. Now, the last variation that I'm gonna do is gonna be some sort of variation that's gonna hit on a weak point. So for me, I really like doing pin pressing. Uh, and typically, I kind of get stuck somewhere in the face region of the press. So I'm gonna set up the pins uh, anywhere from my chin or above to just work on strengthening that range of motion in the press. So that is tip number one, increasing that frequency and getting and pressing more throughout the week. All right guys, so tip number two has to do with grip. So something a little bit more technical, uh, but I think when it comes to pressing as much weight overhead as possible and in a strict press, having a more narrow grip is gonna be more favorable for most and myself. Now, I do like keeping a more narrow grip because it keeps everything just nice and tight. Um, as well as I think when we drift our hands out more uh, wider on the bar, it's going to put a little bit more stress on the shoulders. So keeping it nice, compact and tight is gonna be a little bit more uh, the route I wanna take and it's also going to help me utilize my tricep strength as much as possible uh, in that press and getting through my sticky points. All right, so tip number three is going to be increasing the other areas of the shoulder using bodybuilding movement or accessory movements. Now, typically I'm always saying, if you wanna get better at X, which say it's pressing, you just have to press more, which is true. However, I think if we can add in some exercise that are gonna help strengthen the other areas of the shoulder, it's only gonna benefit us uh, when we're going for that big overhead press. So. I'm gonna be focusing on doing some more side and rear delt work uh, throughout my week by maybe doing a second session later at night or just incorporating some of these exercises later on in my training. So some exercises that I'm definitely gonna incorporate more when it comes to building the other aspects of the shoulder is gonna be any sort of side raise. So whether that's a cable raise or a dumbbell raise, uh, and then also doing things that are gonna target the rear delt. So things like face pulls or just rear delt flies uh, because we wanna build that shoulder in its entirety. When you look at strongmen, they have these huge overdeveloped uh, anterior delts right, which is awesome and needed for pressing, but at the same time, if we can increase all those other muscles, it's only gonna transition to a better, bigger, and stronger press. So don't neglect those other areas of the shoulder. So the last thing that I'm gonna be doing when it comes to increasing my overhead press is trying to increase the strength of my triceps. 
okay? Especially when it comes to locking out the press, your triceps play a crucial role in that. So we wanna get those bad boys as strong as possible. So for me, I'm gonna be doing things like dips, I'm gonna be doing skull crushers, I'm gonna be doing push downs and pin presses that are gonna target the triceps a ton. So if you're someone who gets stuck uh, kind of midway or towards the end of your press, that is a lot to do with your triceps. So make sure you're putting in a good amount of tricep work to really help you increase uh, your lockout power and just overall pressing uh, strength. So there you guys have it. That is my diabolical plan on how we are going to achieve a 300 pound strict press. I'm super excited. I definitely think it's manageable and I'll be documenting my progress in the next couple months or at my training videos. So if you guys dug this, make sure you guys try to implement some of these tactics into your training, especially if you're in the sport of strongman, you need to have a big overhead press uh, and the strict press is just the foundation of all the other presses. Side note, we do have a lot of programs on the website, so if you're someone who needs help with programming and you want me as your coach or someone else on my team, make sure you go check out zastrank.net where we have our program templates and tons of articles that will help you along your journey. Side note, we also have tons of new apparel on the website, so it really means a lot to us when you guys can support a small business, uh, the gym and the brand, and just kind of this cool uh, lifting culture and the message we're trying to spread. So it means a lot, so if you guys can, check out the store if there's something you like, purchase it, tag us on Instagram. We share this stuff all the time because it's really cool to see you guys repping it. Uh, but that is pretty much all we have, guys. So stay a lean, mean, strength machine, and I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Peace.